All right, you guys, this is Ross, the Fig Boss. We got a fig today that is a Col de Dom replacement or a candidate to be a replacement for the Col de Doms. And the reason I'm saying that is because this is, if you look at Pons's book, a lot of the descriptions on this is, again, very similar to the Col de Doms. So this one here is called Brocolette. Broccolette, I think it means, um, no, 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 that's De La Roca. I think De La Roca means of the rock. I don't know what brocolette means, to be honest with you. Super tight eye. I haven't had many of these ripen just yet. My tree is quite young. I got this from my friend Carla at Garden Crochet. If anybody's interested in some cuttings, I really paid a quite uh, pretty penny for this fig because I knew how incredible this would be, that this would be a candidate to replace the Col de Doms. And I mean that simply because the Col de Doms, although they are great figs, they can be a bit finicky and difficult to grow here. So having something else and trying something else that should have a similar flavor and a similar dense texture if I can get the same eating experience in something else that's a lot easier to grow, then that's a winner to me. And for me, this was worth trialing of, that, of those particular fruits. You can see here that uh, it, is a, it is a young tree. It looks like to me there's some sugar spots on the bottom that are turning black with, you know, the, the skin has green undertones. We do have some dark pigmentation here on this side. Um, get the camera to focus a little bit, but somewhere around here on the bottom, it seems like there's a little bit of sugar spots that I, I would believe you typically would not see it if this tree was a bit more mature. It's still a bit too early to judge the, the variety for some of the characteristics. Like, you know, is it really a bit easier to grow here? I don't know that for sure. But let's at least in this video, cut this open, we try it, get an idea if indeed this is a fig that, you know, can replace the Col de Noms. You know, I was hoping that La Bourgeoisie would, but it didn't really seem to be the case for that one this year. I'm still going to hold judgment on that. But some of these varieties that I think are the Col de Nom replacements just it's hard to replace the real thing. You know, there's nothing like the real deal. That looks pretty good. Doesn't look like the Aken uh, the Aikneys, excuse me, are that big and that numerous. It does seem a bit um, uniform here. And it looks like the pulp could be a little bit dense. Um, although it does look like it's a little bit meaty here at the top. And as it ripens, I'm sure, because it's just not totally ripe, there's a little bit of sap flow here at the top of the fig. And it's just so cold that I knew that if I don't get this video in now, or if I don't really try to evaluate this now, I'm not really gonna be able to evaluate it. We just had our first frost yesterday. So time is very, very limited. Oh yeah. It is really dense. Yeah, that's not bad. I mean, the fruit needs some time to ripen. And what I'm gonna do actually, just like this Paradiso bow that I harvested a little early, cut them in half, lay them down flat in the fridge on a tray or a plate with the skin side down and let them hang out in the fridge for a week or two. And it will totally change the fruit for the better. Um, this will continue to ripen and I'll actually be able to get a decent idea of the flavor. Um, and of course the texture will kind of be more along the lines of a dried fig and it'll eventually get more jammy and dense. But I think the texture right just now actually was pretty dense as it, as it is. Um, so there is hope. There is a lot of hope. And I, I read about this fig in Pons's book. That's where you can read about it or find out any of the characteristics actually. I don't need to tell you guys the characteristics of the tree. 
it's all right there, published in Pons' book or on his website. He's the expert of all experts. Um, whatever his book says is true. So if you want to know how hardy it is, unfortunately, you got to find out from me. But all the other stuff, you know, he already, he already has that in his book, how vigorous it is, how productive it is, what the leaves look like, you know, so many different things, the shape of the fruit, um, you know, what the fruit tastes like. Uh, sometimes he even mentions stuff about the acnes in the fruits. Uh, and this to me, I don't remember how exactly, I don't recall exactly how I came up with the idea that uh, brocolette is similar to the Colden Oms. I think it was even Carla who mentioned it. Um, you may not even find that information in Ponza's book, but according to Carla, I believe she was the one who says that this is a lot like a Colded Om, if I'm not mistaken, at some point when I bought it from her. And then therefore, uh, I went after it and bought it. Said, of course, her fruits look ridiculous because she's in Southern California. You know, she really knows what she's doing too. And, um, you know, how, how could I refuse trying to grow this variety? So we had a couple of fruits this year. It is at the end of our season, but I do think it's probably more along the lines of a later to ripen variety. Again, you can find all of that out in Ponza's book. Uh, my tree is very healthy. Probably won't be selling any cuttings from it as uh, it is still young. I want it to grow. I want to really be able to evaluate it um, next year. So the more I chop it, the less I have uh, in the future, the less figs I have. The form is great on that tree. Um, so I don't really want to touch it at all. You know, that's just my personal opinion. But next year, sure, why not? But so far right now, it's a keeper. I'm excited to have it, excited to evaluate it. That right there is brocolette. I wish I knew what it translated to. Pretty good fig. Anyway, we'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching this one. Uh, we'll catch you guys for the next video. Check out our blog, figboss.com. Go down to the bottom, put in your email, and you'll be notified anytime we create a new blog post uh, that's related to figs. I thank you guys for supporting me. Um, Again, we'll see you for the next video. Take care.